Today's Week 7 Mountain West Conference Showdown has the San Diego State Aztecs coming into Laramie to take on the Wyoming Cowboys. The Cowboys are 4-1 overall and 1-0 in conference play coming off their bye week. A current look at the Mountain West Conference standings after Week 6. The Cowboys currently do not have any players with significant injuries on this week's injury report. This week's Top 25 Rankings The Cowboys individual stats through week six.
the Cowboys recruiting board after week six. And now, our Week 7 Mountain West Conference matchup as the 1-4 San Diego State Aztecs come into Laramie to take on the 4-1 Cowboys. Welcome to Laramie, Wyoming, and one of the highest elevations you will find in all of college football. And it is home to the Wyoming Cowboys, and they have a taste for the spicy brown mustard. Today, these two teams square off in what should be an exciting Mountain West showdown. As we'll see, the San Diego State Aztecs taking on the winners of four straight, the Wyoming Cowboys. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Aztecs will put total leather and will get started. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. The Cowboys offense will get the first possession of the game. This is the phrase, the tight end's always open, David. And yes, he is, Reese. And it's so cool. The tight end position now has evolved so much. You can move him all over the field and you can really highlight a guy of his ability. Too big for safeties to cover and too fast for linebackers to cover. This is a weapon they've got to take advantage of. The give to the back. Got enough for the first down and wants more. Gets him on the ground at the 31, but a nice pickup of 15 yards there. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. Makes the catch along the sidelines and steps out of bounds. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. Out of the gun, the inside give. Tackled at the 43 after picking up 10. And a great job by the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right at the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get into space and make the big game. The Cowboys come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the wide out. Got him downfield. Got a lot of room touchdown cowboys and once he found open space the band might as well start playing well this offense is top 10 in the country in points per game because they've got a lot of speed and they've got home run hitters they score fast they don't need 10 plays to go down the field you saw it right there they've recruited well they've got playmakers they're going to be a problem for defenses all year long Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it in style with a 57-yard toss for six. And it'll come out to the 25, no attempt at a return. So San Diego State's offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. 
as we take a look at our impact players for this game. David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. They go to the counter. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. And the Aztecs will keep this drive going. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. Offenses that are great on third downs, what do they do most of the time? They keep it in manageable situations where they're not predictable, not just dropping back to pass. They do it here on third and short. They convert. This offense has been so efficient on third downs all throughout this season. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. And after that last run, we'll see if they keep it on the ground on third. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. Just couldn't find any room, and he wound up throwing it in reverse. They lost yardage. The Aztecs will punt this one away. That's a great job executing up front by the defense. They looked like they were ready for that play. That was third down, but the defense was there to make a big stop. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. First down here for the offense. The give to the single back. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. This offense has a second down play. Looking to throw, it's Svoboda. Fires to the wide out. Wide open downfield. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. Listen, QBs and wide receivers got to be on the same page, and they, you got to know when to throw that curl route. It's got to be on time, right when the wide receiver breaks so the DB can't catch up. Nice job, QB and wide receiver, being on the same page, getting some positive yards. They'll try the run. Makes one man miss. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. On second down, he'll let it fly. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He got loose, almost housed it, finally dragged down at the 32. Hey, it's important on offense in the passing game. You've got to have balance, and I mean you've got to be able to attack different thirds of the field. You've got to work the perimeter to both sides, but you've got to let the defense know, too, that you're not afraid to go over the middle, and they did right there. They're going back to the ground. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. That's a really good stop by the defense. Jesse, they need a few more. You've given up a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the scoreboard. Yeah, it's that bend, don't break mentality you're seeing right now, and this is the point where this defense has just got to lock in. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. He's looking to throw. Quick strike complete. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. 
They didn't get a whole lot of yardage there, but the big fullback slammed his way and got what he could. Uh, hey, listen, that's what you're supposed to do, catch the football. I'm not expecting that guy to catch the ball and make big plays after he catches it, but catch it, give me some positive yards, mission accomplished. Third and long from the 30-yard line in this defense, hoping to knock them out of field goal range. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. How many first downs is that alone, you know, just on this drive? The defense, they keep this up. They're going to get worn out and continue to have to play more and more guys. they got to do something to change this. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. And that quarterback can go. Just another guy in another system all across college football. All quarterbacks nowadays, they got so much speed, it's ridiculous. Man, I'm telling you, that has to be exhausting for the defensive lineman trying to chase down guys like that. It's silly, because even when it's a design play, and it's a design... And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole. He saw it. He put his foot in the ground. And that was Pater. On to attempt the try. And the extra point makes it 14 0. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. Arizona State is currently ahead in this one inside a jam-packed Sun Devil Stadium, but despite the forks up right now, this one is tight. They're up by seven over Utah. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. And how about the aggressiveness of this defense? I love this. Don't let them get to the sideline. Kept the ball in the middle of the field, went after the quarterback right away like some missiles, and got him on the ground. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. Looking to throw, it's Duffy. Feeling some heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Well, this is a quarterback who's not known for his running ability, obviously. We've seen him make some great throws, but mobility, that's probably not on your bingo card. You saw it right there. He gets brought down for the sack. And the Aztecs will try to pin them back with the punt. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He'll settle for some pretty good... Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Leaves it with the back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Just a simple power play. Power football. Be strong. Be big. Be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game. Make them feel you. Keep them off balance. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Here's the handoff. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. Now facing a third and long. Looking for a man. It's Svoboda. 
Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that. You can show your exotic looks. You can get the pass rush going. Everybody in the back end expecting throw. And that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Looking for a block. It's Hunter. Everybody stays in their way. Guys, let's see what adjustments this San Diego State offense has made this time. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. Looking to throw on second down. And they're not quite in rhythm there. It's incomplete. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Just a misfire from this sophomore as he threw it behind him. The Aztecs will line up to punt it away. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed. And has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They wanted to set the tone, strike quickly. Jesse, they've done exactly that, up two touchdowns. And this quarterback has been dialed in, too. He's been so good reading coverage, going to where the open guy is with the football. And they've been up and down the field, David, so far. And this defense needs to make something happen right now. You've already given up a couple touchdowns. Your offense has got nothing going. Still early in the game. Get a stop. Create some momentum for your offense. They'll get it to the 48, no need to measure it to first down. He's been a matchup problem all season long. Defenses just don't know how to solve the puzzle. And with that last catch, over 500 yards receiving now on the year for him. At the 40, there he goes. He's into the open down the middle. No one there to stop him, except the fella in the striped shirt who threw the penalty flag. This one might be coming back. The penalty wipes out the big play and the touchdown. It is just a punch in the gut for any offense. Offense working from the pistol. Comes out throwing on first down. Fires to the right. It's caught. Knocked down at the 24-yard line, but it's a big game. 15 yards on the play, and this offense is in business. And the Cowboys will have it first and 10. Hand off to the fullback. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. Second down coming up. Back to pass, it's Svoboda. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. You want to change some of this bad luck you've had so far around? Get after the quarterback and get his butt on the ground. Nice job by the defense. This game ain't over. It's still the first half. This is a good start. It's a makeable field goal from the 29-yard line. Let's see how aggressive they are on third and long. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Okay. 
so frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Motion trying to get the defense to show its hand. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Well, offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to formate and use different personnel groupings and shifts and motions to give their offense a success on third down. You can tell in this game, this offensive coordinator, he has put in the work this week. From the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. They go to the ground. Got enough space. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Wyoming. No midseason concentration laps here in week seven as they push out that lead. Follow the blocker. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and you know, slither through a little crack. That Outstanding. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he'll bring it back. Smashes ahead. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Aztecs offense ready to go back to work. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession again. The offense is going to have to score, and Jesse probably score pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. The offense lines up at the 41 with a first and 10. He's not a burner or anything, but he's got enough about him that he can run and hurt you at times. Yeah, he, he's sneaking fast, isn't he? <laughs> it seems like he's not moving too well, but he's definitely going faster than what he looks. And this defense, they're finding that out right now. Rides to the back. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. And the defense gets to the quarterback. This is not going to get any easier. You're already down. You know it's passing situation, and you got to protect your quarterback, and they can't do it. This has not been a great day early for this offense. And the Aztecs will bring the punt team onto the field. Not going to risk a return here. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. But it was a nice job in play calling. Can anyone catch him? At the 30. He's at the 10. Running free, going to the end zone, but way back behind him, there's a flag on the field. That celebration turned sour quickly after they saw that flag, and it wiped out the big play and the touchdown. Offense set on first down. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Getting some heat. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. This defense needed something to go right. Man, they're down big already in the first half. Get to the quarterback. Get him on the ground. This could start some momentum going back the other direction. Big first down sack for the defense. Brings up second down. On the run, it's Svoboda. Fires left. 
And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Gets it out fast. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The Cowboys line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll aim it toward the sideline to try to make it tough on the return. Flynn ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. San Diego State takes over as the offense is ready to go to work. They've taken three haymakers right across the jaw, down 21-0, but David now the chance to answer. And this defense has been suffocating, and this is so hard. When you don't have the answers early, man, and the defense hits you in the mouth, you got to find some plays quickly here to try to make this a football game. This is an offense that has a lot of pride. They're not used to being in this position. I think it's going to take one effort, one individual great play to finally wake this team up and get them back some momentum. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. The Aztecs will send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Running it back, it's Kane. And he'll work his way on the return. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. They'll throw it on first down. And it's intercepted! A turnover for the defense. Looking for more room. He's at the 10. And with the interception, he'll take it all the way back. Touchdown, Aztecs! The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. Getting set for the point after. And after the extra point, they're now down 21 to 7. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Tennessee is on top, but it's not like Peyton Manning or Team Martin can't pull away. They're up by 7 over Florida. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They'll go to the ground. Makes his man miss. That's why they love to feed this senior running back. He'll find those extra yards. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just... I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Got three on first down, it's second and seven. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. The give to the back. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. 
It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. Give to the fullback. And the Cowboys will have a first down. Well, how about that play call? Third down, turn it around, hand it to the big fella, your fullback, and he does the work to get the first. Offense lines up for a first and ten from the 43. Looking to move it through the air. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. They'll spread the defense out going five wide on second and ten. After the incompletion, they go back up top. He makes the connection. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Third down and short. They choose to pass it. They got the whole playbook open because it's third and short. On their own side of the field, you could tell the QB wasn't going to make a mistake. He did not want to force the ball, make a bad decision. He throws the football away, lives to fight another down. He'll call for the fair catch. Guys, we're about to get another look at this San Diego State offense. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but, man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you've got a good opportunity. Create some momentum. Cut it to a one-score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20. Spits it out to the back. Just too much mustard on that one. Can't miss the target that badly. And the Aztecs decide to punt it away. Well, it's third and short. They're throwing for it. They just can't come up with that one. Setting up a big decision now for the head coach on fourth down. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. And there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Back to throw, it's Svoboda. Fires to the wideout. Finds a man in the middle. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards. We're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field, reading coverages, and finding his open guy. Takes a snap, wants to throw. Zings it complete to the right. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. They'll immediately call timeout. Picked up some of what they needed on first down. Now it's second and goal from the five. He's looking to throw. Working that left side now. 
And he's going to lose yardage. He was looking everywhere for just a little grass and a little air and none to be found. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Snagged in the end zone. Touchdown, Wyoming. Really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. You get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. Prime inside the 10. Here he comes. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So the offense has had enough. They'll take a knee and wrap up this first half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Gentlemen, who's got a better seat there today in Laramie than you do? And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at the highest elevation in all of college football, War Memorial Stadium. The Cowboys will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Guys, let's see what adjustments this San Diego State offense has made this time. When you're facing a deficit like this one to start the second half, you really can't afford to waste a single possession. Fresh start here in the second half is the only way you can look at this if you're on offense. Things did not go your way there in the first half. It starts with one play. To get our confidence going, we just got to get something going early here on this drive. One play, stay aggressive. Now, now I think I can be even more aggressive on fourth downs because obviously I've built a deficit. My defense has got to make some plays for me too. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They'll keep this drive moving by picking up the first down. They have it at the 36. The Aztecs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The give to Davis. Jukes his way for more. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Got it in the middle, it's Brown. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. And the Aztecs are rolling down the field. Wants to throw on first down, off the play fake. Finds his man, it's Brown. They pick up half of it, it'll be second and five. He's looking to throw. He's got his man. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive. Trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. It's first and 10. They've moved it to the 41. He's going to pass. Got it in the middle. It's Brown. He's brought down solid. Pick up, but a little bit short of the first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The completion short of the sticks. It's second down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. 
Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. It's a draw. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. From the 30-yard line on first down. Sweet feet on the move. Oh, there's the ball. Oh, looks like the offense was able to recover it. You want to talk about hearts and throats when that ball was on the ground? The offense recovered its own fumble. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Third and short from the 22. Is the field goal unit getting ready, or is this already four down territory? They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And the Cowboys' third down defense just hasn't been great. On first down from the 13-yard line. Gets it out quickly. Touchdown, San Diego State! What a catch and run for six. Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. More drives like this is what's needed. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they trail by two touchdowns, 28-14. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Rutgers took care of business today. I think their coach had...
that fired on all cylinders. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Power football with the run. Just a pickup of a couple out to the 15-yard line. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Wants to throw. It's Svoboda. A strike downfield. And he's not down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. You know, the defense, they just haven't been able to find an answer for this guy throughout the course of the game. Obviously, he's got two touchdowns, picks up the first down there. They've tried doubling him. They've tried man coverage, zone coverage. Nothing working on defense. They can't stop him. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Hold it. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Looking for a productive play on first down. From the gun. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the misfire now on second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. The Cowboys send out the punt unit. That's why as a defense it's so important to win early downs. You win first and second down, you set up third and long, now you can pin your ears back and get after the QB. And the returner will be dragged. The Aztecs offense ready to go back to work. The last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some confidence that they could go back-to-back -back scoring drives here. Yeah, and remember, it's not uncommon for offenses to find themselves as the game goes on. They had some things not go their way early, but they found something last drive, David. Let's see if they can build on it. Yeah, you, you, you just pick and pick and pick until you find that place where you're like, okay, this is an advantage I have. They clearly found that dude. They score here. We're in for a ball game. Just inside the 30 at the 29, it's first and 10. Well, the offense is trying to make it look like run, so they play fake, and the tight end, he comes right out of his stance, vertical downfield, gets one-on-one -on -one with a much smaller DB and is able to make the catch for a big game. This defense might be reeling after those last two and now facing first and goal. Caught in the backfield, it's Tanner. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Touchdown, Aztecs! You thought they were done. They're not. They're back, baby. Oh, the offense shows some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And, man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down, but this is a great start to getting back in this ballgame. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point cuts the lead to 7, 28-21. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined down there and make the stop at the 19. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. 
After giving up that last touchdown, they still got the lead, but now feeling a little bit of pressure to answer with one of their own, David. And it gets a little bit tight. Listen, we're getting later in the ball game. This offense punted last time. They got to find a few plays, Palmer, that they really love here. Steal some momentum back in this ball game. They do, David. And after watching their defense just get gashed down the field that last drive, the dream drive for this offense would be to matriculate the ball down the field, eat up some clock, and finish it off with a touchdown. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Looking for a man. It's Svoboda. He's right on target. Still on his feet at the 45. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Picks up 15 yards on the play and an important first down. He's up to 94 yards on the ground, and he has his eyes fixed on leading the nation in rushing. And the Cowboys are on the move. From the gun to give, looking for room. At the 20, he's got space. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. The Cowboys trying to cash it in on first and goal. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Got it! And he's into the end zone! Touchdown, Cowboys! Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. And no chance at a return. Here they'll start this drive at their own 25. San Diego State takes over as the offense is ready to go to work. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point of the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so... And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. He lobs one high down the left side. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. The Aztecs will call on their punt team. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He'll settle. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. 
On that last drive, defense had no idea what was happening, run or pass, and it wound up in the end zone, Jesse. Yeah, you saw the experience in this offense that last drive, too, on that touchdown. Everybody on the same page. These guys have repped these plays over and over in practice and in games, and it's working, man. Yeah, so I got to find a way to disrupt it. I got to find a way to maybe be more aggressive, maybe blitz, mess up this rhythm they got going. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. Start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Give him 109 yards on the ground, and that's just another routine day for this guy who's been among the nation's leaders in rushing all season long. Now they'll try to cash in this drive, first and 10 from the 50. Leaves it with the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. It'll be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. After the run, 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 now to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. And an absolutely fearless tackle. Giving up size, still got him on the turf. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. On third and long, try to convert through the air. It's caught. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And the Cowboys will punt it away on fourth down. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all use. Guys, we're about to get another look at this San Diego State offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking to pass. It's Duffy. Throws to the wideout. Got his man on the right. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And the Aztecs come to the line with a new set of downs. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Shoots it to the left. Makes a connection. Smashes through the tackle. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. The Aztecs are marching down the field.
Hand off from the shotgun. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. They're getting this guy lathered up. And into the end zone. He rumbles all the way down to the two-yard line. He gave a little bit of everything on that one. Well, right away after picking up a first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I and he'll take this into the end zone and hang on just a second. Flag down. Let's see what this is about. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. And the Aztecs trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. They'll leave it with him. Keeps those legs churning for three yards. He's down at the nine. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. He'll pick up three before he's downed at the six. They desperately need to get the score here on third and goal to have any kind of wild chance. Makes the catch. Oh, and he thought he might be able to wiggle his way into the end zone, but they knock him down at the three. So at this point, I expected them to go for it here. Instead, here comes the field goal unit. He'll boot it from the left side, and from this distance, that angle ought to be fairly easy. And that is no good. And after the miss, it's still a 14-point game. And that's just the chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead, Palmer. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So you got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Fresh legs, man, and it is showing. Of course, this team had the bye last week, and you're seeing it right now late in the game, running the football, imposing their will against the defense that looks tired. Of course, they had to play last week, and, and you're seeing that right now. Running back searching for a hole. He has the first and still on his feet. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. They'll snap it from the 47 on first down. They'll give it to the back. Runs through the tackle. And that spin move kept the play alive and let this guy pick up a few extra yards. They've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, and there's certainly still plenty of football to go, but this is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice run. This offensive line is firing off late. Looks like they're getting stronger as the game goes on, and that is a good sign for the offense. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. The give to the tailback. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, 
Keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing that. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. Give to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments, find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? That's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day, so been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big <laughs> deal today in college football, no doubt. Now, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. Trying to pound their way in. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. If they can get it into the end zone here, they can really turn up the heat in this one. Third and goal. Trying to pound it in. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Wyoming! They add on another one, and they're about to push their record to 5-1. and one. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. They're just about ready to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Strikes the blow. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. And that'll be incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one on first down. Now on second down. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now trailing by... Snags it on the right. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. And, Jesse, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but you might as well start with a chunk play. Well, you got to start somewhere, Reese. It's been tough going for this offense all game long. They Fires the pass. Intercepted. Got room on the return. He's at the 40. He's at the 20. And he's going to score on the interception. Touchdown, Cowboys! That'll give him a little more breathing room as they try to push this winning streak to five. And that just might do it. Man, offense needed points, needed points badly. Defense comes up with the big interception, takes it all the way back just to pad their lead a little bit and make this game almost, almost out of reach. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. 
Tennessee is down, but they are not out of it. Not inside Neyland Stadium, one of the best home field advantages in all of college football. It's a close one right now. They're trailing by one to Florida. He'll start this drive firing. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. Completes it in the middle. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. The Aztecs have it in scoring position on first and goal. Back to throw, it's Duffy. And he's going to score. Touchdown, San Diego State. Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling. You're down by 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight. The AT unit on the field. Splits the uprights. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. The deficit is huge. This one is all but over, but they'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. Firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with a victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today, too, Dave. They had a really good game plan coming into this one, and they went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and to keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them, or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. Offense getting set for first down. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. They'll go right back to him. At the 35, he's got room. And he's all most to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Let's see what they do on third down. The gift to the fullback. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. With the clock running, this should be the final play. Well, 
Well, this was an offensive showcase out there today. We thought it would be a high-scoring game, and it certainly delivered. If you love offense, then you love this type of game. Both offenses going up and down the field, seemingly at will, throwing the ball, running the ball. But, David, I feel like if you're a fan of defense, maybe this just wasn't your cup of tea. Uh, more defense optional. <laughs> you didn't really get too much of that stuff, but, you know, listen, you got to get a few stops late in the game. You got to get one, actually, just kind of one stop with this many points that was being scored. You got the stop late. That's why you got the dub. And that's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
the Cowboys suffered no new significant injuries in today's game. Next week's Week 8 Mountain West Conference matchup has the Cowboys traveling to San Jose to take on the San Jose State Spartans.